Hello, my name is Dr. Shambos and today we are doing a reaction video. No, I haven't watched this duo. It's between Blackbird and Gear Luffy. This is the Japanese uh, channel that I talked about uh, on previous videos. The link of the video will be in the description. Before we react, I just want to say I'm sorry that I haven't been uploading gameplay to the channel. The thing is I'm waiting for, by the time that I'm recording this, I'm waiting for the um, for the sim to update so the West goes into OPO7 meta. I don't know if there already are, maybe by the time you guys are watching this there already are. But to me there aren't and I really don't want to get too much into OPO8, I really want to practice OPO7. So for now we're just going to do uh, theory crafting and... Um, and just maybe some reactions. Hopefully by next week I am already uh, uploading gameplay again. Now, why am I super excited for this video? I'm I'm being completely addicted to just try trying to watch as much of OPO5, OPO5, Gear 5, Luffy, and Blackbeard. Um, and this channel really just like every time a card gets leaked or announced, they just straight up just pick up the deck and do some some fun with it with the cards that are already released or revealed. So yeah, I hope they use the new Blackbeard um, Blackbeard with the announced cards on this video because on the last one they didn't. And lastly, before we go, I'm sorry that I'm half naked. It's super hot here in Portugal and I really can't put a t-shirt on or else I'm gonna be sweating like balls. With that said, let's get into the video. My webcam I don't think will uh, obscure anything, so let's go. Obviously I don't understand what the hell they are saying. <laughs> let's just go, there you go. Let's go into the deck list. Okay, first, okay, so he's not using the new announced uh, Blackbeard cards. The last gameplay video that I watched, the, oh, he wasn't using this Luffy, this will be interesting. He, I, the last video I saw, Blackbeard was straight up, like, really good, even without the newly announced cards when they used. This event here, I forgot its name, looks to be really good. So, yeah, sorry, I had to adjust here. So, we can see Garp, yeah, yeah, obviously, this Borsalino is getting reprinted, hopefully I'm gonna grab four of these because he's being used again, because of Blackbeard. Blackbeard is straight up just somewhat of a ban list, but in a leader form, and I think that's really healthy for the game, actually. Just bring a new leader that will balance the game out himself and give him good restrictions, with, which is the one that he has, which is he cannot use on play effects. This kids are straight up coming back into the meta because Sabo uh, has an on play effect which is you draw two, discard two and then everybody cannot be KO'd. But against black, a possible Blackbeard on the other side, this effect will not activate. So Kizaru is just a straight up, you place him, you have a blocker that cannot be KO'd against this leader or any black leader uh, on, their, uh, uh, on their turn. So we have a safe blocker. But obviously when it comes to the to the RP law, it's a, another thing. Okay, so Luffy is using a new deck list as well. Using the Queens, I think that's nice. I'm gonna try to be... Oh, this event, I really want to talk about this event. This one, not so much, but it could be good. But uh, he's using new cards. Uh, last video, I saw he was only using Kizaru. And then the rest was pretty much the, the Straw Hats. Now he's using not Straw Hats at all, almost. Just a Gear 5 Luffy and Black Maria. These, these two cards are gonna have the best chemistry with a Gear 5. I already talked about this. He's using Tsuru. I believe Tsuru uh, is to decrease uh, the cost of someone, as well as being a 2k for the Kaido and the events to pop. But I'm telling you right now, one thing that I'm thinking about playing on this deck is straight up, like even two, two copies of the ST14 Robin. I'm gonna try to put an image here. I think that Robin is gonna be really good because she has an on play effect and when attacking effect. So, so she could be pretty good against Blackbeard and uh, on other matchups. The only problem is we need to have a big body on the field already, uh, a cost or more. So I think that's where the Gear 5 Luffy just comes up. But I think that's going to be a good tech card. Oh, and about this events. He's playing Bond Clay to straight up just ramp and have a body. Uh, I think a budget option is to play this uh, Big Mom event and this um, Let It Be Disaster. I think that's the name of the event. This just straight up ramps, ramps you one down and draws one card, which is really nice. And this uh, event of Big Mom straight up, I think it's so delicious that's the name, straight up just gives you one active down and if your opponent has a 6k body or more uh, in power, 
ramps up another active dawn. So I am thinking about just not playing the Bonkele because he's too exp expensive for the value he gives. Uh, you don't really need his effect on these type of cards that have so much late game like Kaido and Luffy. So I think this event or the Disaster Artist is a good replacement. I don't think playing so many Kaidos is the way to go to be honest. And yeah, I think this event really good. I think they are going to be used. I am thinking about playing three of each. Yes, I'm making this deck by the way. I already have everything. I'm just hoping Borsalino goes down. Uh, this was up really good. But yeah, I, we'll see. Let's see. Sorry I'm talking so much, but I really need to make this video transformative of some sort. So yeah. So let's see how this does. I haven't watched this. I hope Gear 5 Luffy wins. Oh, by the way, sorry for my hair. I just came out of bath because it's so hot. I need to take a bath. <laughs> Let's see, let's see. I really am not a fan of the Gear 5 Luffy deck profile. There are good cards in there, obviously, but I, I do prefer what I saw here on the um, on the Blackbeard. Let's see, let's see. I really like that they show both hands. Let's just... I think that's fine, right? So he already has so many cards in hand, he can just straight up use his leader ability if needed. I think uh, Backley is going to have such a big skill ceiling, like you just need to know a lot about your um, about your opponent and just discard a card on their curve place, so yeah. Play the Borsalino, really nice. <laughs> he played the top knot, just putting Borsalino back. Oh, wait, isn't it? Bouncing to the hand. I thought it was bouncing to the hand. If it's for the deck, it's really OP. Okay, the leader activated because it's a minus two event, giving him another active dawn to play the bond clay. So bond clay will ramp up once more. So he even he didn't even went down on uh, on dawn. It just straight up ramped one. So really OP. Not really OP because like I don't know this this deck can brick really hard this deck list. Have no idea what this event is. Can't understand it. <laughs> Never saw this being played. But I guess it just straight up KOs a uh, 4 cost or less. Or uh, maybe a 4k power or less. I don't know. But I think it's 4 cost. Use the leader effect. So Luffy has no on play effect. So he cannot play the queen. To get its effect. I think queen can be used on the gear 5. I think it's good. Uh, I, w I am thinking about more of the Searcher Zoro. He plays another Borsalino. Oh no, he plays Borsalino. The, the Blackbeard was the one that played Borsalino. Borsalino is coming back in the meta so much on the OPO9. <clears throat> Fun to see him coming back. Really enjoy the character. God damn! Okay. So, straight up, uh, I've noticed this on the last video. Gear 5 Luffy does take a lot of lives. Not only that, his deck list does not run uh, so much counter, so yeah. But I've seen this, you do like get so many cards to hand because you you just need to take cards uh, lives early. Blackbeard is in a good position right now. Another top knot. <laughs> the man does not care. Top knot is really good here. He's just gonna take, yeah. And now he has the on-play effect. Oh no, no, he does not. It's still active, so he just straight out played a... Uh, a blocker, just in case. That's nice, he got a value out of the queen, he got a block. Oh, let's see what this Luffy does now. Oh, okay, it's just to recycle the cards, okay, nice. That's not bad, that's not bad. I'm not thinking about seeing this at 4 in Blackbeard, but maybe like 2 as deck card could be nice. By the way, I'm looking over here because this is my first monitor. <clears throat> That's a 5... 10k swing, god damn. Just straight out takes. Another queen does not get the effect. Blackbeard is keeping the, the cycling of the Luffy in check. Queen would help him just take away at least one Kaido because you pretty much only play like 1, I believe, per game. And would help him to see the Gear 5 Luffy, which has insane chemistry, this leader. I love it so much, man. Let's see. 
There you go, just KOs the, the, the queen. <laughs> really nice. Let's see now the Luffy. The Luffy in action. He could straight up just lose here, by the way. This a uh, half. Like, Luffy could just straight up make two swings. Make him block and take him with the last life. T uh, setting up for game. He should play the smoker, I believe. The five cost smoker. Or another Kizaru to have a blocker. Damn, Kizaru is really OP in this OP09. We'll see with the new cards announced, obviously. Okay. He's going to play the Barcelona, we can see with a 4. He's going to take risky, risky, risky. Oh my god. Ah, I don't think Gear 5 Luffy will help here. Maybe it will. I don't know. Gear 5 Luffy has such insane chemistry here on the, on the Gear 5 leader. It's insane, really. Yeah, there you go. Another... Oh, he's gonna counter. Nice. Plays a Barcelona like expected. Okay, he's just straight out. Takes away Smoker. <laughs> oh my god. Oh yeah, now even with Gear 5, it doesn't matter. Because Gear 5 does not get the on-play effect. Holy my god. Okay. You need to... Yeah, you needed to straight up have something to... Uh, decrease the cost of... Uh, of the gear for Luffy, so then he could KO it potentially with uh, with the uh, Kaido or with the uh, the events. Um, I'm maybe Ice Age could be good here. I don't know. I think it would be better on Blackbeard. It's just blocks. Oh, he's just straight up lost. <laughs> uh, you can't just let it go. It doesn't matter, he's going to attach everything and swing. Unless he throws here. He could potentially just straight up uh, attach everything except three. Nope, he, he actually goes for game, that's it. Yeah, will they play another one? No, this was a really fast duel. <laughs> he didn't see the... Yeah, that's the, probably the deck list I saw this at the beginning. No counter whatsoever. Tsuru, don't think will be as good. Again, I think the Robin from SD14 will be better. Uh, and I think playing the Usopp, playing the maybe Frankie as well because he's searchable. I don't know. I think your 5 will be better just by playing purple and maybe using some of the new cards in OPO9. But I think purple Straw Hats, this is one of the few leaders that can actually use the, the, um, the purple Straw Hats. Not only that, this Blackbeard does counter Luffy, I believe. I mean, his effects just straight out taking away the Gear 5 Luffy uh, play uh, is really, really insane. Not only that, we could see for this duo that um, him discarding one card in like after the third turn, pretty much every turn almost, did not set him back so much. He was not big uh, on hand size. But he was taking lives uh, safely and he had the Borsalino which could not get KO'd. So yeah, I think overall the decklist was better on Blackbeard. I must say that I think it influenced this match. This match was a bit one-sided because of that. He already counters with the leader ability and I think Luffy was too, too much of a bricky deck. So yeah. I think playing slower was better. Again, Straw Hats are much slower. Um, you playing only the Robin, like I said, as tech deck, uh, more on late game, trying to survive early and mid game, and then just just trying to play for the Gear Five Luffy. I think it's a way to go. Obviously, again, gets countered by Blackbeard. Yeah, he could have seen more events to remove, uh, maybe more top knots. I don't know. I think top knot will be a three or four of, and I think the, the Golden Lions event will be a two or three of. But, like, Top Knot is really good, really good. And again, with uh, Robin being your searchable uh, kind of Kuzan, will be really nice. The only problem is you kind of need to play the Gear 5 Luffy before you drop her. This Luffy, really nice tech on the Blackbeard to give him aggression. Borsalino, 
Beautiful and Blackbeard as well. But I can't see this being played at 4. 2 to 3? Absolutely. But 4, I think it's too much. I, I, I could be wrong, but I think this he does take good advantage of playing the Blackbeard cards that card announced. But, uh, and obviously the SR that he's going to get, which is a Blackbeard character. We already know that's going to be a broken character. But he could straight up just play the Blackbeard and the rest. And the rest of the cards could be everything except the Blackbeards. So, a Blackbeard pirate, so yeah. Okay, this was the video. Uh, I'm gonna leave it there. This was a bit one-sided. I was expecting a more uh, even matchup. I was really excited to see this matchup. Um, I already knew Blackbeard would counter the Gear 5 Luffy, but I don't know. I... I did prefer the last deck list that they showed or tried at least. Uh, I'm gonna try to make a deck list on my own. But that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, hopefully, the video, this video will be in the description, obviously, so you guys can go support the, the main channel. Uh, you probably got, you guys probably know this channel before you know mine. <laughs> so yeah. But I really enjoy them. They just give so much content. Uh, just trying new decks, and I just use them a lot for research. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching, consider like and subscribing if you did, I always appreciate if you stay till the end of the video, and I'll see you all in the next one, goodbye.